So that was a test run of my milling attachment and I'm very pleased with the results. The only thing I had to do there was a bit of fine adjustment on the gib strip on my milling slide um, when there was a bit of chatter. But overall I'm very pleased with the way this has turned out. This is some um, weightlifting bar steel, it's uh, quite hard stuff. Um, you can see there's a really good finish on that um, milling. And that side there. And I was using an ordinary um, HSS 12mm um, 3 flue end mill bit. Another great thing, I've been using this motor for a couple of hours now this evening and I cannot feel any warmth at all. Um, so the motor is going to stay cool in use. And if you watch my um, previous videos on this um, Myford milling attachment, you'll see that the housing is much shorter now. In the end I parted off 55mm and cut down the shaft to 100mm and remachined the end of that one. I heated this one up red hot and tried to knock that um, preload assembly out of that one but I couldn't do that, the braze was so good. So I had to remake that end. And I did the different thing on, on assembly, I didn't use braze at all. I took a skim out of the bore of the shaft, um, probably about 25mm deep. On the preload bolt assembly that I turned down I put about four grooves and filled those with Loctite 638 and um, covered the whole assembly with that Loctite 638 and knocked that one home. And Loctite 638 is what's known as a high strength adhesive. Um, there's no way that that um, will work loose from that shaft or come out um, without having to heat it up. Um, very hot until you see fumes come off it and then you may be able to knock it out but um, there's no need to use braze at all Loctite 638 is perfect for this type of um, component So that was the speed test and it's a good range of speeds and I was doing that machining I think about 450 RPM. The um, pulley on the back here is about 74 millimeter in diameter and this one is uh, what came on the actual motor when I um, got it off of eBay. And someone gave me this um, pulley and it did have a bearing in the end there which I pushed out and I machined the um, diameter out a bit and made a steel bush with a 6mm um, grub screw on the other side which locks it to the shaft. Um, if you can't find a pulley they're very easy to make up, um, just make a tool up to suit the um, grooves on the actual um, aluminium one that comes with the motor and just machine some grooves in the diameter exactly the same. And I didn't have um, any idea when I started this project that I'd be putting the motor on top like this. I did think that I was going to have it this side on a frame um, with a pulley system uh, that way but then I thought well that's going to be dangerous with the cross slide and also I would have had to make a cup of um, system to actually keep the belt tension right um, when I'm using the up and down um, milling slide. And I'll show this on the bench um, in another video. 
the whole assembly um, unbolts and quickly comes off the uh, milling slide so it's quick to assemble and get running all as I did was weld a bar on the back of that um, plate that goes onto the uh, milling slide I've got a plate underneath the motor which raised it up a little bit to get the belt tension right and I've made an adjuster there for belt tension and then all as I did was put two heavy duty strong cable ties right the way round under the plate on the underside of the motor round the bar at the back here and just pulled those tight and that's absolutely rock solid and I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out and I did try the milling attachment just as it is without this um, counterbalance system and it worked perfectly all right but I thought this would even things up a bit it's just my angle plate and some weights on the back there and that counterbalances the weight on the front